episode number 10. Yes, that is a wee montage uh, behind me. So first and foremost, I wanted to let you guys know uh, a couple of quick tips. Hey, Robert C. Stern's in the house. Guys, follow him. He's a, a heavy periscoper, always sharing good stuff. Um, good to see you guys here. So the, the title is White Plains, New York. The title is uh, how I got three sponsors in the past week to um, basically pay for being a part of my scopes. And so I wanted to share those tips that have worked for me with you guys so that you guys could see if some of this formula can work for you so that you could actually start monetizing and making money from your periscoping uh, videos that you may be doing or you may be thinking about doing. There's a ton of different ways that you can you know, look at creating revenue for yourself. One is that you can barter, which means you basically are gonna scope for free in exchange for getting some product or some service that you're gonna get for free. So that's one way you can do it, but I'm talking about the ways you can actually make money. So the three sponsors, I can't name the third one just yet. I can't name them yet, but I can name two. Two sponsors so far, one right behind me, We Montage. We Montage is a company that does removable wallpaper of your favorite images. So right now, uh, I still blame you for introducing me to an origami stroller. <laughs> that thing stuck. Did it really? I love that origami stroller. How did it suck? It was expensive though. Uh, but that, that didn't, no, that's like rare to hear somebody say it sucked. Um, I'm sorry you had that experience. So the We Montage is removable wallpaper. So what's really cool about removable wallpaper is I'm gonna to explain to you the companies that have sponsored my scopes and then I'm gonna to explain to you how you can do it. Ah, uh, yeah, that makes sense. Couldn't hold up in the New York City streets. That would have been a better test. Like now living in New York, I can totally understand where you're coming from and you know, doing, running around the streets of New York with that stroller would have been a good test for me to see how durable it really could hang up, hang, hang in there for. Um, so here's the thing. I decided to put together a presentation and I showed this to you guys. It's up on my, it's up on uh, the website. Um, it's up on the website uh, at neversettleclub.com slash inspirescope where I have a whole video on how I made a presentation and then use this presentation to basically start getting sponsors. So the first tip that I have for you is uh, that you need to make a consistent show of some sort or a consistent periscope stream of some sort. So I don't care if you're running around showing sites and things to do like from a tourist perspective in your town or if you're giving life coaching advice or if you're giving blogger tips. It doesn't matter what the content is. What does matter is that you're doing the content consistently, frequently, and that you name it something like give it a name that all of this stuff falls under. So what we did or what I did is I created this thing called InspireScope. So basically InspireScope is a series. It's a series that I do um, on Periscope. Now I'll still ride around with my bike. You guys see me do my bike videos where I'm like riding around on my BMX bike um, through New York City and we're going through different places all over and showing you stuff. I'm hanging out with my family. I'm showing you like when the president came through but but didn't show up, but, <laughs> but like was supposed to and it was a big barricade. I'm still showing you life moments. I'm still showing you things that are just happening at that time. But when it comes to sponsorship, I'm really focused in on one piece of content that I do consistently. So call your scopes something. That's tip number one. Call your scopes something that you're going to frequently do. So whether it's like, like I said, it could be any tip about anything, but give it a name. So we gave ours a name and it's called Inspire Scope. Second thing you need to do uh, with your, with brands anyway, the second thing you need to do is track your analytics. So one of the things that we did is, as you know very well, you can see the analytics very easily inside of Periscope itself. So we captured all those analytics, put it all in, a, in our um, keynote presentation so that we could easily send this to sponsors so they can get a sense of how many total views we roughly get on these particular episodes um, for uh, Periscope. And if you noticed, I not only include uh, the numbers of people that watch it live, I also include the number of people that um, is stroller scopes. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> I like that. Um, so how many replays we get per week, 
average length of the scope. And um, since we also save our scopes to YouTube, we can also get numbers and analytics from YouTube as well. So tip number one, call, figure out your series, figure out your, your show type thing and give it a name for, for all the different tips or all the different things that you want to show. Again, it could be complete comedy or it can be something very serious and motivational or um, about health or about money, like it could be anything, but give it a name and give it an episode number. So every single time you do it, it has an episode number and people know that's the show. So right now, this is episode number 10 of Inspire Scope. All right. Um, and I didn't even do my intro right. It's like, welcome to Inspire Scope, episode number 10, where we bring you inspiration, technology, and motivation to help you live the best life possible. So that's what it is. Brought to you by We Montage. Like that's my new opener. That's my new uh, intro to my scopes now. Brought to you by We Montage, and I'll say, hey, We Montage. Um, yes, thank you, TM Shine. I like this. I like this a lot. Number one, name your scope. Series with an episode number. That's a great. Yes, yeah, people take notes. That's a really good idea. And if you can't grab it quick enough to screenshot the uh, your screen, um, TM Shine, keep it going, man. So that was tip number one. Uh, tip number two, analytics. Make sure that you're capturing and uh, researching your analytics of your scopes so that you can show that to potential sponsors. These sponsors, by the way, can be people in your community, like small businesses, like local community uh, uh, sponsors, or they can be big name brands. The point is you have to show that you're tracking what, how people are watching your scopes. So number two is analytics. Okay, so capture and review analytics and do that for other scopes as well. Like if you have other periscopers that you follow that may have similar content to you, you want to see what they're doing that's working well for them. Pay attention to their titles. If you go in and you look in their analytics and you see a lot of views, immediately go and look at the title to see what they're titling it. The title can give you a sense of maybe what's driving a lot of traffic uh, for their particular content. Um, so anyway, you want to research and, and uh, have your analytics. And then the third thing that you want to do um, is you want to put that stuff into a presentation. You got to present it to your sponsors. So some of you are going to be like, I don't know how to get to. You can find scope analytics. Great question. You can find scope. Like right now, if you swipe your screen to the right or if you're uh, if you just hit the uh, person icon, the people counter in the bottom right corner of your screen, you can just kind of see exactly how many live viewers are on the, the scope right now. You can see how many people are giving you hearts, how many hearts you're actually getting. So you want to be able. That's one way that you can do it. And you can also do this in, in the replay. You can look at it later. Um, and see how, many, how your replays are doing over time. Uh, so the third thing is put it in a package it into a presentation of sorts so that they know exactly what they're buying into. So we tell them exactly what the content is of our scope, like what you can expect to see. I give you examples of me scoping in different environments. Um, I'm going the wrong way. Uh, then I give you the analytics. Then I talk a little bit about like who you are. Yes, that's perfect. TM Shine, you got it. Number one, name your scope. Give it a series name with an episode number. Number two, capture and review analytics. Number three, create the presentation. And then, of course, the hardest part is how do I get in front of people? I got you covered. That's like the bonus part. So you want to create um, a little slide as well about like who are you and why are you credible and why can you talk about the content that you can talk about? So you show that. And then you also uh, show what the opportunities are, like what can they actually sponsor? What can they actually be a part of? And then last but not least, you show them like what you're charging for your packages. Now these rates right now, I'm giving this stuff away. Like I'm giving, for, in my perspective, for the type of um, periscopes that we're doing and the engagement that we're getting and the credibility that I have in the marketplace, we're giving this away to really test this out to see how brands like it and how we can actually start monetizing it much bigger. Um, so there you have it. Th then I just kind of say, Hey, let's talk about it and let's see if we can get together and chat about it. So it's a very short presentation with seven slides, seven slides. Number four, screenshot the heck out of Mario scopes. <laughs>
<laughs> That's a good one. Screenshot the heck out of Mario Scopes. <laughs> so uh, the brands right now, how are you accurately calculating viewer demo by sex when you can't see all viewers anymore? Yeah, I'm not doing it. Um, oh, so you did see. Uh, so that's not coming from. Great question, Laura. Good to see you in the house. That's not coming strictly from um, Periscope. Part of that is in that I can see the icons, right? I can see the avatars of the different people and you, you're making an assumption that if they're showing their image that that's actually who they are. So that's part of it. But the other part of it is too is um, tracking demographics inside of other social media. So here's the thing you have to compile. What you have to do is aggregate aggregate all the demographic information that's happening from your whole social uh, sphere. So it's not just the... the um, demographics or the or the or the analytics from periscope it's also stuff that you can get from twitter because you're going to be tweeting right you're going to be saying here's my periscope it's going to go out on twitter people are going to see you say you know um at staples as a brand or uh, sponsored by at we montage you're going to put that out on twitter so you know you can get twitter analytics so what's your what is your current twitter analytics what is your current um base of demographics so my base currently in social is 70 percent female so 70 percent Close to, it's like 68.5, but 70% of women um, are in all of my stuff. So Instagram, uh, Twitter, YouTube. So all, so I'm putting that together to say this is currently my the demographic, the audience that really engages with me on social platforms. But then I direct them straight to like Inspirescope as the product that I want them to sponsor. I hate that I can't see web viewer demos through scope. Yeah, that's, I know. I'm sure they're going to work on that though, right? I mean, that would be amazing to get that data. Like they're going to have to in order for people to really continue to try to monetize uh, Periscope. How do you handle disclosure in Periscope for your sponsors? Great question. So I do it right up at the top. I do it right. So I haven't done my official launch show with, um, a sponsor yet. I mean, we have Staples coming on board. We have uh, Eat at We Montage, as you can see, on board. When I do it, I'm going to announce them at the top of the episode, and I'm going to say, you know, my sponsor is We Montage. I'm just going to put it out there. Like, welcome to the Inspire Scope series, where we help give you inspiration, motivation with substance and technology to help you accelerate to be your personal best. And on today's episode, episode number 10, it's brought to you by We Montage. We Montage develops removable wallpaper of your favorite images. All you got to do is go to wemontage.com, upload your favorite images, and you can make small collages, large collages, all on removable wallpaper. No need for frames, no need for hammers and nails. This is great for dorm rooms. It's great for people that live in military housing. If you're living in an apartment like I am and you're temporarily here. So I'm going to kind of give my spiel for that product right there in the intro of the show. And Right off the bat, say it's brought to you by. Hope that answers that. At We Montage. Yes, WeMontage.com. Yes, go and hit it up. Thanks, you're clearly a pro at that. <laughs> I've worked on it for a little while. <laughs> Any other questions you guys have about getting sponsorship for your scopes? You know, one of the things that I always try to do is try to teach you guys the lessons that I'm learning so that you can benefit from them as, as well. Ocean 98, it's a me, Mario. <laughs> it's so good to see you guys. Oh man, it's one of my favorite radio shows, guys. They they're they're like off the chain in a uh, in a uh, Ocean City. I pop onto their show a lot. How do you decide which sponsors to approach? Great question at WW3. By the way, if you're getting a lot of value from this, please heart it up. A lot of times I don't get enough hearts. <laughs> and I think it's because people are just really paying attention to the content and it's like hit that screen if you like what I'm telling it or if you feel like you're getting some valuable information. Hit me up with some hearts, man. I got to catch up to some people. Um, that's a great, great question. So what you have to do is align your sponsors with your content. You have to know what con what your content's about. So yeah, we're working on getting that TV show, man. You have to know what your 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 content is about. If your content, like someone hit me up last week, I think it was on on Periscope, and they said they love ice cream and they have a favorite ice cream shop in their neighborhood, and I instantly was like, oh man, that's a show. Like you're gonna go to that ice cream shop maybe every day or maybe once a week and you're going to do tastings and you're going to periscope live tastings of the ice cream at the shop. The shop's going to love that they're seeing this automatic engagement happening. It's going to be easy because they're a local store. It's a local community. You can even do hashtags so it goes out on Twitter to that local area so that you can kind of get people to kind of come to your periscope 
tastings, like it should be called a Periscope tastings, and then you go over to the ice cream spot and you go in uh, and you go and try different ice cream flavors and you charge the ice cream parlor for your visits. You know, you come up with what's, what's your value? How long are you going to be there? You're going to be there for a half an hour? So what's the value of your hour that you're going to charge them for? If, you're, if the value of your hour is 75 bucks, then maybe it's 75 bucks. If the value of your hour is $250, then maybe it's 250 bucks. Um, if you're going to do more with it outside of Periscope, like you're going to actually keep, capture it in YouTube, you're going to share it on Instagram, you're going, to tweet the, you're going to tweet about it, you're going to tweet the replays, then obviously you're not just going to charge your hourly rate, you're going to charge more than what your hourly rate is. You're charging for the, the extension of your hourly rate, not only your time, but also the impact that you could have. So I think you have to think about exactly, you know, for me, I wanted to have, there's a couple of ways you can do it. Product placement is one way, like you see here. Um, another one is that you might even see me start doing ads. I don't know. I might try this out. You might see me hold my laptop or an iPad or something else and play a 10 or 15 second ad and actually watch a video clip for 10 or 15 seconds. It's got to make sense. It's got to fit the content. It can't feel like you're ramming advertising down people's throats. It won't work. You'll lose viewers. People won't appreciate what you're trying to do. It won't be authentic. So you have to know what it is you want to scope about. And then you have to think about all the companies that are around that. So if you're going to do one of the things that we've been doing on our bikes, we ride around New York City a lot, just showing sights and sounds of New York on our bikes. That's an easy thing for someone to periscope and turn into a series and call it bike scopes. And then you just start traveling your butt off across the country, right? You can start in your own neighborhood doing bike scopes. So, well, who would watch bike scopes? Potential tourists, people that love bikes and cycling. So those are the types of companies that you want to think about. So maybe you have like three travel destinations that you stop at and on all of your bike scopes, you're going to stop at these destinations and those destinations pay you. Uh, so there's, there's that way to monetize it as well. So we're trying a variety of different things. Right now I have a product placement deal with We Montage, and then with Staples, we're going to be working with them over the course of a month. That'll kick in, uh, I think it kicks in next week or the week after. Um, that'll kick in with Staples, and we're going to be talking about stuff that's using technology to help benefit your life especially with a lot of confusion around Windows 10 and how, and how Staples has a tech services team at their stores. So I may even periscope from a Staples store at some point. So it's, it's got to be aligned with who you are and what you're credible at and what you have expertise or value that you bring and align it that way. Any other questions? Oh, by the way, if you're not following me, please follow me. <laughs> like right now. And I haven't seen anybody invite other viewers to this. So make sure you invite them to the replay. Uh, please send that out to them. Um, any other questions that you guys have in terms of getting sponsors for your scopes? Anyone? Bueller? Bueller? Anyone? This is your time. This is your time. Like I see this as a thing where we're going to probably be able to bring in like 5K a month. Um, that's my hustle inviting viewers. Yes. Did you approach them or the other way around? We approach them. Great question. We, we absolutely approached them. And I think, um, no, they didn't find us. Uh, we approached them. Thank you for inviting from the beginning. Appreciate that. Um, no, we went to them and we said, look, you know, we're, we're, I'm doing a lot of stuff on Periscope. I love video and I love communicating in real time with, with people to really see if we can have some impact and value in real time with people's lives and get that instant communication back from other people. Um, oh, that's so cool that you were invited by Mara. Love me some Mara. So everybody follow Mara. She's awesome. Um, how much per hour do you make from them? Well, so I don't charge an hourly rate. That's a great question, but I charge more of a package rate. So um, because it's more about what do you want to get? So right now, these are some of the rates that I'm charging. Like I'm going full on transparent with you guys. <laughs> Like, come on, hard it up. Who's, who's actually showing you numbers that they're actually getting? I mean, come on, this is like ridiculous, right? Like I'm giving you as much as I can of, of the secret sauce. Do the sponsor receive advertising time on your other YouTube? Yes, we can do that. That is, that is part of what we can do. So let me show you why this could be different. Because here are the different opportunities that somebody can be you know, connected to. So it depends. If they just want to be... Uh, on Periscope and just have a look and, and, and just have me mention them. That's one thing. If they want to be also in YouTube 
and on YouTube videos and we do like a pre-roll or something like that, then that's another thing. So you have to kind of develop your packages where they can build on top of each other so that you can charge more money. But if you just want to get If you just want to make it simple, yes, I need a notebook handy next time. <laughs> is that right? See, this is what I'm saying, right? Like, this is really good to hear this. Uh, one, name your scope. Two, capture review analytics. Three, construct a presentation. Yeah, so if you want to start, I would say start local. A lot of people try to start national, and unless you already have those contacts, you should start local. Like, but you got to start after you started creating content. I didn't start approaching any sponsors or talk to any sponsors, even if they're, uh, when, when this started happening, until like episode eight. Like it wasn't until we had at least seven or eight episodes that we really start pushing hard on let's get sponsorship for this. Did anyone else's phone lose a sound? My sound is fading, is it back? All right, hold on. Losing sound, don't know why, should be back. Volume got low, let me try to see if I let me check the mic. Let's reconnect. Let's see if that works. Make sure we're good. Testing, testing, testing. Any better? Better, better, better. Okay, that's good. Good to see. Sounds good. Yeah, okay, good now. All right, great. So um, I just kicked the tripod. Hit me with any other questions. Start local. Yes, definitely start local. Any other questions that you guys have? Um, I'm not giving you, I can't, there's tons of other stuff that I could probably share that I'm just not thinking of. I'm tired too. It's like Friday and I've had like a long week. <laughs> I've been getting the key, my teeth kicked in by uh, executives telling me they're not ready for my TV show type yet. So we've been dealing with uh, hustling and grinding and dusting ourselves off and getting back up to try to get this TV show out there. Um, so I'm a little, I'm a little winded, but if you have questions, ask them now because this is real. This is happening. I mean, look what's in the background, right? Like, I, you see that UE mega boom? Like, there's no reason why I shouldn't be charging. Have a formula for determining value. You can charge more because of your large following. Okay, great question. So, a lot of people are like, oh, Mario, you're already, you're already out there. You've already um, been hustling. You already have a following. Um, truth be told, there are plenty of people that have larger followings than I do on Twitter, specifically. Um, the, the key is, in Periscope, I don't have a huge following. Like, we're working on it, right? I want more people following, but I don't have a huge following on Periscope. But what happens is I get, Periscope right now gives incredible engagement. Incredible engagement. So you don't have to have a, a huge following at this point in time to, in order to be able to get brands to pay attention. You have to go ahead and do it. Yes, I am in New York City right now. You have to go ahead and you have to start um, creating a series, creating a show, creating episodes so that you can track the analytics and track the engagement and then you're going to see. Then you're going to see. Current heart count, 202,000? What, for this one episode? No. <laughs> There's nowhere near enough hearts for that. <laughs> Is that what I'm up to uh, totally? So that's, that's cool. That's awesome. I appreciate that, guys. Let me see. Like right now, I can like, do you guys know that at any given time, I can also kind of like look and see who's like really heart, who's giving up a lot of hearts? Like I can see Look at Mika. Mika is firing it up right now. Oh my God. Jennifer Wicks was firing it up earlier. Mika's on a roll. She's like nonstop right now. <laughs> Gina is on a roll with 79 hearts right now. That's crazy. Uh, sorry if I missed any questions. Keep them coming. Come on guys. I want to help you be successful out there. Like what, what, what are your thoughts? What are you trying to work on? And how can I help you? Do you reapproach brands when they say no or don't respond or move on? Move on. I mean, you got to get follow up. Follow up is key. You have to continue to do follow up. But after about three or four attempts of legitimate follow up and you're not getting any feedback back, you need to try to find a different contact at that same company. Um, you need to try to find a different contact at that same place. How many times did you get rejected? All right, I'll, I'll answer that. Or you need to just find a competitor like them and just move on. Maybe it's not the right time for them. Timing and sales and timing with sponsorship is everything. The only way you win at sponsorships, this is it. This is like the age old um, best advice ever you can have. It's all numbers, people. It's all numbers. I wanna do something with wheelchair exercise. Oh, that's a great one. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, there are people that are doing yoga and fitness and stuff like that. So yeah, you wanna put your, your phone on a tripod uh, and then sh do your exercises, keep them short and tight, but um, I would definitely, it, you must know other wheelchair audiences 
um, or people that are in wheelchairs, communities on Facebook that you could probably find with people that are challenged with disabilities, they would probably all benefit from seeing that. So that's a great niche scope. Um, and if you've done some already, that's great. Give it a name. You have to give your scope a name. So if it's wheelchair scopes or if it's wheelchair fitness, whatever it is, give your scopes a name and then start creating episodes under those scopes. If you go to a sponsor and it's just random posts or random um, periscopes that you're doing, it doesn't create the glue that they need. They need to feel co a cohesiveness. They need to feel that there's an ecosystem, that there's a start and a finish to what you're doing. If it's just random scopes, it's kind of hard for them to see how they should be attached to those random scopes. Even if they're about a particular, consistently about the same subject, it still can feel random. Enjoy your weekend as well. Love you guys with all my heart. Hope these tips have helped. If they have, please share this broadcast even now. You can share it to people. They can watch the replay if you think that can value some of your friends. Um, we'll have this up on YouTube. Once we have it up on YouTube, it'll be on our website at neversettleclub.com slash inspire scope. Can someone put that in the chat? Neversettleclub.com slash inspire scope. So this is Inspire Scope episode number 10 with your boy Mario Armstrong, wrapping it up, giving you inspiration, technology, and motivation with substance so that you can live your best life. And it's brought to you by We Montage, removable wallpaper of your favorite images. You can do it right from your phone, right from your desktop, and you'll have beautiful memories on all your walls without any hammering, nails, frames, or any of that stuff for the rest of your life. Or if you move, you can just Take it down. Take it to the next house. You'll love it. Your family will love it. <laughs> Until next time. So my sponsors are right now are We Montage. We Montage is the sponsor, which is this removable wallpaper that you see here. Thank you, Mika, for putting that uh, web address in there. That's the web address, by the way, neversettleclub.com slash inspirescope, that you can see all nine other episodes of, Inspire, of my Inspirescope series um, right on our website. And the other sponsor is Staples, which should be uh, more formalized uh, next week. And so you'll see me talking about Staples or opening the show, uh, mentioning some stuff that we're doing with Staples. Uh, and then I'm working on a third one that's really, really, really big. Um, but that's going to be about two weeks away from now. So we're keeping it moving. We love you guys. And anytime I'm learning something of value that I can bring to you, you know I'm going to try to bring it to you first. All right. Love you guys. Make sure you follow me on Periscope. All right. Thanks for all the hearts. Have a great weekend. Episode number 10 of Inspire Scope. Out.